Y'all watching Knicks Fan TV. Alright, man. Al, you want to do some play ratings? Let's go to the box score and yeah, let's do, do some play ratings, man. Um, all right, so we started off. I got the box score open. Uh, mm -hmm. Noah Vonley, two points, four rebounds. So off night for Vonley tonight, man. Only 10 minutes. I really don't even feel like mm -hmm. rating him, to be honest with you, because I'd probably give him like a two. <laughs> no, no, Vonley, he just didn't have yeah. it tonight, man. No, Vonley didn't have it. What, what, what do you I, think I about concur. it? I, I'd give him, yeah, let's say it too. It was, yeah. I barely even remember him being out there, to be totally honest. Yeah, <laughs> It was yeah. just a very forgettable night. He, I see he's got four fouls, so I I assume he got yanked for foul trouble. Oh, yeah, he, he was, yeah, he was, he was, he, he was out. out of it from the, from the first half of foul trouble, man. Definitely, yeah. man. It's weird, man, because I, I, I legit, I watched the whole game, and outside of the first couple minutes when he was in there, I don't even remember the second time he came back in, and I assume it was only two stints. Yeah, he caught a so, quick foul, and he was immediately out of there again, so. <laughs> yeah, very, very, un, very forgettable night for him, very, like, not memorable at all. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Attack. Yeah, two, I give him a two. Uh, Money Mitch, 26 minutes, three or six from the field, 50%, 10 points, six boards, one block, um, you know, we were all minus for the night, so it's hard to even go to plus minus. But what, what would you give Money Mitch for his effort tonight, one to ten? I give him a solid eight. Um, I think he he held his own really well against Dwight Howard, which was yeah. uh, cool to see. Uh, there was one sequence where he he like actually kind of out muscled Dwight for a rebound, and then dunked it on his head. Yeah, and that was really cool. He he, he out Dwighted uh, Dwight. He, that was a nice to see, man. Yeah. Exactly. He had that. He had that really nice. Um, I mean, it was an equally nice pass from Frank, but that awesome, like sprinting alley oop going yeah. down the lane. That was dope. So, from an entertainment perspective, as usual, he gets a ten. Uh, from purely a game perspective, he had a couple moments where he was kind of um, lost his temper a little bit, stuff like that. It, so that knocks him down a little bit. But all in all, another another very solid game from Mitch. I, I liked what I saw. Yeah, I, I thought it was a solid game from Mitch. 10.6 rebounds. Um, I'd probably give him a 7. I'll give him a 7. You, you know, like I said, one of the stories of tonight was uh, him against him against uh, Dwight Howard. Um, and, and I thought, you know, he, he held his own out there. So I, I give Mitch a 6. I mean 7. I give Mitch a 7. Um, let's go to Frank. 6 points. Two blocks for Frank, four dimes, three seven shooting on twenty three minutes. What, what are you giving Frank tonight? One to ten. Uh, I struggle a little bit with yeah. this one because it's it didn't feel like one of his better games. You know, yeah. like we were saying earlier, he struggled. He definitely struggled against like an engaged John Wall tonight. Yeah. Um, and I, and I think that that showed. So I'm gonna give him like a six tonight, and that's been against him all in all. I mean, he still had he still had a few nice uh, few nice assists. He just he really couldn't put it in the hoop today. Yeah. Uh, but the defense the defense was always there. I feel like if you if you're being real, you can never really give Frank less than about a five because right. his, defense his, his defense is always there, is there, and that's half yeah. the game. I agree. So I I would give him a six. Yeah. I think a six today. I give him a five only because um, you know we needed him to, to to pick up the pace today and get the offense going. He didn't really get that done. Like, you know, learning experience, obviously not trying to put no blame on him or nothing like that. Just calling it like I see it. He just didn't give us, give us what we needed offensively. But I thought defensively he, he was good. Um, I also thought he, he, you know, even though he didn't get the team involved that much, he also took a little too long to, to get his... Uh, to get his own shot you know i think he didn't take a, another field goal until like the third quarter second third quarter so um we, we we didn't get the aggressive frank tonight but the defensive effort was there so i'll give him a five i'll give frank a five um definitely, go ahead definitely a consistent theme with him the, yeah. definitely consistent theme with him like always having to be told to look for a shot yeah yeah and that and that'll come in and like you said um John Wall, you know, uh, uh, go for blood John Wall tonight, obviously, with his team struggling. It was a tough matchup for Frank, so he did, he did what he could. Um, let's go to Dotson. Yeah. 11 points, 6 rebounds, 2 dimes for Dot. Uh, 5 of 11 from the field, 50% damn near. Closed out the first half very well. 12 straight games and double figures. What are you giving Dotson tonight? 1 to 10. I'll give him like a 7. Um, yeah. Just to... It, you know, it was a good game. I wouldn't say it was it was not even close to his best, you know, uh, of the season so far. So he's 
he's he's playing well though you know what i mean he's yeah. it was just kind of it was kind of like status quo for how he's been playing lately you know he gets you double figure points he gets you above average rebounds for go- um shot pretty efficiently uh he didn't hit a three-pointer tonight which right. is a little three. characteristic for, for him yeah. but all in all made some smart plays oh you know, took care of the ball fairly well two turnovers you know not perfect but yeah um I, I'd say he is solid seven, you know, it, about what you could ask him. Nothing spectacular, though. Yeah, I, I give Dot a seven. Um, I, I thought, he, you know, he saved us from, from he saved the game from really getting out of hand in the first half um, because, you know, overall offensively we were so poor, but he was able to, to pour it in um, close the second, the first half with nine points. And, um, you know, so I, th- I thought he was solid in that regard. So I give Dot a seven, but I've been liking what I'm seeing from him all, all over. And I'm um, happy that he's in the starting lineup for sure, man. Happy that yeah, he's in the starting yeah, lineup. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. Timmy, uh, 24 minutes. Obviously, he had the back injury, 2 of 10 shooting. His probably his worst performance of the year. Seven points, four assists, four rebounds. Uh, what are you giving Timmy tonight? I'm giving him an incomplete tonight. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he doesn't He doesn't get graded tonight because, honestly, like I said, I'm not convinced that what we saw tonight was the real Tim Hardaway. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was... It was a guy who came out a little cold, but Tim Tim tends to do that sometimes. Come out a little low cold, and then he heats up, and then it's like off to the races from there. Right. And he just wasn't able to ever hit that point where he heat up tonight because he was, you know, hurt obviously, and, and he just didn't have much lift, and he was grabbing his back all night. I, I, I incomplete just because I yeah. think he shouldn't have even been out there for half those minutes. Yeah, I don't I don't think so either. I don't think so either. He was hurt. Um, I have to give him a five because he still locked 24 minutes. He was still out there. Um, but, you know, more so incomplete. You know what I mean? I'll, I'll give Timmy a pass tonight. Um, Luke Cornett only gets two minutes. We're not going to grade him. <laughs> Super Mario, 25 minutes, 10 points. Probably the only Nick in, in, in the plus territory, plus 11. Three steals, three mm-hmm. assists, eight rebounds. What are you giving Super Mario tonight? Two or five from three. What are you giving Super Mario? I mean, grading him on a... I'm going to grade him a little bit on a curve based off, you know, what I want to see from him, kind of. And I'll give him, like, a nine tonight. He he played pretty good. I it, Quietly, you know. He yeah. wasn't... Um, but he hit a few shots. Like, he was a big part of that run when the Knicks in the third quarter started making it a game again. And and he was a big part of that. Him, Trier, uh, Dotson, those three guys really played a big part in that. But uh, he hit a clutch three. He had three steals, which three is steals. crazy. Three steals, uh, yeah. He was, he was playing the lanes pretty well. Only one turnover, which is like like perfect for him because he's, he, he's at his worst when he's turned the ball over, you know, and when he's acting crazy out there. And he was pretty composed. He seemed to play within himself tonight. Yeah. And and the eight rebounds too. Eight rebounds is really solid from him. So yeah, I, I think he was like a nine out of ten. It was it was a really good performance from him. And should Tim have to, you know, tomorrow or miss any time, uh, hopefully his Ozonia plays that way if he has to sub in there for Hardaway's minutes yeah. or any sort of Away. Yeah, I give him. I give him about a seven and a half. I give him a seven and a half. I thought, um, yo, he filled the stat sheet up. Had some good numbers: ten points, eight rebounds off the bench, twenty-five minutes. Um, he was composed, like you said, you know, which is uncharacteristic of him. You know what I'm saying? So uh, good, good outing by Mario. I, I give him a seven and a half. He, he tried his best to keep us in the game. Um, and you know, this is the type of game if you could get a little bit more points from him, say. 12 to 15 you know that that'd be a nice uh that'd be a nice nice contribution off the bench for mario man but i, I give him a seven and a half tonight mm-hmm. let's see what he does tomorrow we'll see hopefully hopefully he doesn't let me down tomorrow man all right <laughs> let's go to um lance 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 is tough he got eight minutes five points three rebounds plus one looked like he only played in the in the first half Maybe a little bit in the second. Yeah. But I thought what he did in the first was was pretty admirable. What, what do you? I don't really know because eight minutes is not really enough to grade him. I don't I know. Was, I, yeah, I, I wouldn't really grade. I was him. really surprised to see him not come back in the second half because yeah. the shooting line great. I mean, he took a couple shots that were maybe a little questionable, but uh, all in all, he's playing pretty good D in the first half. It was kind of strange to not see him come back in the second, but they might have actually just like a, a for real like minutes throttling agenda with him yeah of just 
not wanting to play him that many minutes because it's it, another deal almost like cancer to a lesser extent though like like look like you're not necessarily going to be part of the future here like right. you got to prioritize the minutes to guys like Zoe, like uh even like trey burke you know like even moody to to an extent because VA, you have the chance to maybe uh develop still in some meaningful way so i think it's just one of those deals but i'll, I'll give him like a i'll give him a six yeah we'll say because with the minute with the minutes he did have i was i was like pleasantly surprised yeah that, I, right? I don't I, i'm gonna give him I'll, I'll just say he he played well so, you remember in elementary school where you get like satisfactory grades you don't really get like number grades a letter grade. he was satisfactory you know what i mean for tonight so we'll see yeah, so he got the sad he, he got the s yeah he got the s on the paper you know what i mean and maybe tomorrow he'll he'll maybe lock some more minutes obviously given the, the second of a back-to-back maybe we'll see him a bit more tomorrow Tomorrow. Um, but I, I like you. I was a little bit surprised he didn't get more minutes in, in the second half. All right. Um, Ennis the Menace, 24 minutes, double double Ennis back in town, 18 points, 12 rebounds, um, a little bit over 50% from the field, 8 of 14. Listen, uh, you can't try to carry us in, in that stretch when we were trying to come back. I thought he had a, he finished mm-hmm. the first half well, and I thought he had a good um, third and fourth quarter. What are you giving Ennis on the night? Look, I'm I'm not gonna take this lightly because I wouldn't normally give cancer this rating ever. So I'm gonna like relish the opportunity to be able to give it to him. But I'm gonna give him a ten. You give him a, a ten? ten out of ten. Oh, I think. oh my god! I'm going for it. I'm going oh, for it. Because why not? You know what I mean? You give him I've a never, ten. I don't, I don't know if I've ever felt as good about him after a game as I did tonight. Just the fact that he was playing the other side of the ball. He did play defense. You know, like, he did play how defense. Often, how often do you see cancer really give a shit on defense? And like so. I'm not going to take that lightly. I'm going to give him the 10 because, quite frankly, like, First team all defense. 14, 12 boards, so he got his counting stats, you know, which he always gets. But then he played good defense, too, and I, I'm kind of proud of him for that. Yeah. So, fuck it. Yeah, he, he gets a he gets a 10 out of 10 today. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Sheesh. That's, yep. that's a liberal score, man. I'm going to give him... I'll tell you my grading, man, because I, I, did, I didn't give you my grading before we got on. So it was a little bit unfair because you this is your first time. So I won't, I won't get on you for the 10. But I don't really give 10s unless it's, it's, it has to be a win and it has to be like a, a lights out performance. You know what I mean? That's just right. me. That's just me. You you can grade it how you like. See, but to me, to, to me seeing Ennis Cantor guard John Wall one-on-one on the perimeter and force a turnover, that was that it was, was it like was a, a pleasant surprise. Me, man. It, it was a pleasant Woo. surprise. Was, I agree. It was heat, man. It was good. It was it was as good as I could possibly expect from Cantor. I but I, yeah, you know, maybe like I said, I'm just looking for the opportunity to give him a ten for once because I would I never you. give him a ten otherwise. So you know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm I'm trying to help him out. I'll, I'll give him. I'll give, move him from a seven for the typical double double. I'll give him an eight for the defensive <laughs> effort. That's it. I know not. I'm not giving nobody nines tonight because we lost the game. And tens, you, you got to save that for like, you know, just crazy level performance. I'm saving the tens. I haven't given anybody a 10 this year and no nines because we lost. But I'll give Ken a, a solid eight for playing good defense. I'll give him an eight for playing defense. And uh, he, he, he kept us in the game. He, he kept us in the game. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'd probably make a terrible teacher because I, I, would, I would grade everything on a curve, man. I'd give so many A's. <laughs> I, I could never be a teacher. <laughs> oh, man. Um, damn, yo, uh, we played like so many guys tonight. Um, all right, what are you giving? What are you giving Moody a four points, three assists? Moody a one of five on a night, twenty three minutes. What are you giving Moody a tonight? Oh, I'm swinging entirely the other way now because we got Booty a here. Is he Moody a? Is he Booty a? Like, Depends. He, he was he was Booty a today. He, he was for sure Booty a. Yeah, it was Booty a. Uh, Booty a oh, came out tonight, man. Booty a came out. There was. One sequence that stands out to me where uh, he, he uh, was bringing the ball up the court, had a relatively easy passing to get the, you know, they were kind of in transition, but they didn't really have numbers. I think it was like four on four maybe. And uh, and he had a relatively easy opportunity to get the ball into the post to, I forget who, Mitch, Cantor, yeah, whoever. And, and he tries to lob it like super soft <laughs> like over the top wall down grabs it starts running back 
to his credit, Moutier actually tried to run back with him, but then he literally just like let him get to the hoop. And I'm like, well, this that was emblematic Moody Gay sequence I've ever seen in my life. Like throw the ball away and then like lightly play defense down the other end and give up a yeah. bucket. So forget it, man. I mean, three out of ten. Three yeah, of 10. I, I give Boudier a four. Say welcome back. I'll give him a four. He had a decent game <laughs> against Dallas, but uh, yeah, he he was Boudier tonight. Forget forget it. Um, trigger Trey Burke, twenty minutes, thirteen points, three assists, six to thirteen shooting, damn near fifty percent. Uh, what what are you going with with Trigger tonight? I'll I'll give him a six. Uh, just because honestly. You, <laughs> his game was kind of forgettable to me for some reason today yeah um e even on the assist to turnover ratio which isn't great for a guy who's typically more of a distributor like him um and yeah i don't know just a all in all kind of a forgettable kind of a forgettable yeah. game for him did he lose did he lose the cornrows after like going in the last game yeah, I think he still had the braids in the I, Dallas game, so he must have cut it over the I weekend. Say, I, did, I, didn't, I was gonna say, did I not notice that because we were at the bar? But man, he got rid of the, he rid of the Trey. The I, Trey I I is no longer. It's just Trey. Now, now he's, yeah, now he's just Trey Burke again. Now man. he's just Trey. Trey Burke. What? Or it might be Alfonso. <laughs> and his real, his real name is Alfonso, man. It might be Alfonso's back. I give Alfonso. <laughs> uh, yeah, I give Trey about a five, six. He's getting lost in the shuffle in this point guard battle. Um, I feel bad because he had a good story mm -hmm. last year, and I like him. I like him as a you know as a person. I think he, he's a he's a he's a fighter out there, but um, he's getting lost in the mix. But still, you know what? Thirteen points, um, fifty percent shooting, nothing to sneeze at. Twenty minutes. I I, I give him a six. I give mm -hmm. Trey a six. I give mm -hmm. Trey a six, man. Um, and let's wrap it up. Isozo, twenty two minutes, nine points. Um, Two rebounds for ISO, 50% shooting. What are you, what are you giving ISO uh, on his performance tonight? I think I'm going to give him... I'll give him an eight. Because, like I was saying before, the stat sheet doesn't show what he did tonight. Like, he definitely... Yeah. It, his game was a lot closer to that Dallas game tonight than you would think. You know what I mean? Just based off looking at the box scores for the two games. But he came out and did a very similar thing. You know, he came out, he pushed the pace, he made some buckets, started get, getting the Knicks back in it when they really needed to get back into it. So I, I think he was deserving of like an eight tonight. Yeah. He, was, he, yeah, he I, played a damn good game. I, I agree. I, I give him a seven. I, I thought I saw, like you said, I thought his impact on the game, especially um, to close that third quarter, kind of matching John Wall's intensity. Um, it didn't show up on the on the stat sheet, but uh, you know I, I give him a seven. I, I think ISO ISO is a fighter, man. I, I give ISO a seven for sure. All right, man. Yo, that was your, that was your first that was your first uh, addition of player ratings, man. What would you think? Yeah. Outside of the uh, ten for you... Canada, the chat was killing you for that <laughs> Canada one, man. The ch the, ch the chat was ready hey, to revolt, I man. Uh, man. I just want to give you love one thing, man. I do a lot of shit on Canner, you know, just like everybody does Facts. for the defense and everything. He deserved to be praised tonight, you know. I, I.